Yeah, welcome to I Square TV. My name is Michael Schiesel. I'm a psychologist. I'm with the I Square team. Today, I wanted to have a look with you on on art and theory in one. We're currently investigating the phenomena of uh, Corona, and we've done a lot of psychological orientated studies towards the phenomena. We came up with a four stage model. Uh, so we identified the turmoil, the regression, the hyperstrength, and the neo normality as the prevalent psychological stages. This model is based on our framework, which we have called neurosemiotics, uh, kind of a shiny name, uh, uh, one of the important meanings of this uh, name and this model is that we assume that transmission is not only something which is happening in medicine for instance at the moment a virus is transmitted but it's also a phenomena done by the media so also the media are doing a transmission um, with media we refer just in a very wide sense to all the touch points people have today most of them are digital touch points and saying that there is transmission also means that we have a concept of the sign which also takes into account that the psychological level is a, a physical level for instance, in the newer theories, there's a lot of talk about embodied cognition or flash perception. And uh, this is the way to go. So even if a phenomena is, is a media phenomena, it doesn't mean that it is only a media phenomena. We also refer to this lovely work of Martin Andre Placebo, Effect, a wonderful book where Andre also points out a very similar theory and he talks about the biomanipulative Zeichen. But now I want to show you this little eye tracking video to my right. So it is, it is an eye tracking of a piece of art. The art here was done by Dennis Rudolf, a, a Berlin artist. Uh, I I know him for years. Uh, also, I Square knows him for for years. We have a couple of his excellent and superb artworks here in the in the company. Uh, check him out. It's it's really worth uh, getting a deeper understanding of of his work. So um, Dennis was so kind and tried to visualize this four stage theory we are we are having here so he was painting or he was uh, he was uh, using a, a an ipad and uh, doing doing a a, a computer based uh, painting where he showed here the turmoil stage which you see on on the lower right then the regression stage then the hyper strength and the new normality and then later I had one of, uh, I had a, a, a average uh, male person, mid, mid 20, and ask him to, to, to look at the picture. Uh, let's call him Alex. So now we can watch how, how Alex was, was, was seeing the, the picture. Hope you could see that on your monitor. So you see these, these little bubbles where he jumps from the turmoil now to the regression, to the hyper strength, and to the face of neo normality. Turmoil is, is the starting phase. At turmoil, Corona acted as a mortality salient stimulus. This increased uh, a psychological system which could be called arousal. Arousal is more the bodily. Thing, uh, this directly influences the action motor systems. At that stage, everybody was very agitated. People tried to move. Um, 
They were, their minds, the cognitions were a bit chaotic. There was a lot of paranoid thinking going on. Uh, the consumer behavior was based on this initial trigger, which is a trigger against repro against the reproduction or in the psychoanalytic terminology against sexuality so people try to protect their families they had or they have unstructured feelings like lust and hunger in their consumer behavior we all had the well-known toilet paper effect but also rice was bought also things to protect like masks were bought in the US weapons that was the first stage that's the turmoil in that stage corona acts as a mortality salient stimulus now we have approached the second stage we call it regression now a stop was done is what on the one hand an outer stop so most of the governments in the world like in Germany had a had a shutdown so that stopped this initial stage of the psychological turmoil there's also like an inner stop um, uh, human beings can't stay on such a high arousal for a long time they go back and now we are in the regression stage uh, a lot of us are at home um, we are laid back in a in a way the emotions are very prevalent implicit is very prevalent the responsibility is delegated to be, to the big other so on the cognition there is the feeling i can't do anything i have to follow uh, people follow the great other what what he commands them to do somehow they do the things which are normally taught to to, to children for instance they wash their hand they don't touch their faces and this is a kind of a psychological relief at least to the to the action motor system nevertheless it it also hinders the action motor system to prevent the emotional appraisal and now the approach emotional appraisal is upcoming so in our measurements we now see a big increase in in fear in a regression stage consumer behavior is more devoted to these little little things which give remedy and relief like it's a time of the chocolate buying in my supermarket there's there's no more no more chocolate to to buy and uh, that's the stage where we are right now we soon approach the hyper strength and the neo normality I'm now i'm going to end this little eye tracking video and hope this was insightful for you. Have a look also on our web page, iSquare.com. You find more information under the Corona Center. Hope that's, that's of any help for you. Um, stay healthy. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.